So far in its brief career, the 787 Dreamliner has been anything but a dream for Boeing. More of a nightmare, really. No one's been hurt, but the super high-tech jetliner of the future is grounded while investigators try to figure out why its state-of-the-art batteries keep catching fire. Let's get the latest from CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Jim. It's sort of hard to overstate the importance of Boeing getting this figured out. No? Well, the economic impact here is staggering to Boeing, to the airlines that have ordered the plane, 800 planes in order. The good news for Boeing is they'd only delivered 50 of them, only 36 were in operation when the grounding order came into effect. So there's some time here to build and try to fix this problem. So specifically, what is the FAA doing right now? What they're doing in the first place is they're focusing on that particular battery in the 787 incident in Boston, deconstructing it, then trying to figure out the chain of events that led to the overheating and the fire. But most importantly, they're doing that with more than just one battery. They're trying to recreate what happened in that plane by subjecting that battery to surges in, in electrical input and also overheating. Because once that, that battery catches fire, you have a problem. So they're looking at the wiring bundles, how the wiring was installed, and then trying to recreate exactly what happened. This is a $200 million plane. So clearly, if there's 800 of them in the pipeline, it's a big financial impact for Boeing. Right. But a lot of people who watch this say, how was it allowed to fly in the first place? Now that the FAA has grounded it, it raises questions about, you know, how did it get out there in the first place with passengers on it? Well, this is the most outsourced plane ever built in the history of aviation. It also depends more on electrical input than any other plane ever built. So you got two things working here. There's an internal view going on at the FAA now. Let's just not focus on the batteries. The FAA is doing this grounding order as an opportunity to look inside itself to figure out its own inspection procedures and what allowed this plane to be certified as airworthy in the first place. Because remember, with that many subcontractors, you miss one rivet, the plane can't be produced. And that's why it was delayed three and a half years to be delivered in the first place. So this rush to production, that's what they're also focusing on within the FAA. Peter, real quickly, even if they solve the problem, right. consumers are going to be calling and asking one question. Am I getting on a 787 even after this is solved? Here's the thing. If you look historically, there have only been three aircraft types in our lifetime that have been grounded by government agencies. The British made Comet in the 1950s, which, by the way, once it was grounded, it never really flew again because they determined metal fatigue and bad design. Then the DC-10 the DC in 1979, after that terrible crash in Chicago, while the plane did resume service, it really spelled the end of the DC-10 for the orders from McDonnell Douglas, and ultimately it spelled the end of McDonnell Douglas. So Boeing is, is it's, believe me or not, they are absolutely laser-focused on trying to get this problem fixed. High-stakes poker. Peter Greenberg, thanks for being with us. You got it. Peter.